remember uh, we are moving from uh, a government control system. People are moving away from uh, a dollar control system to a democratic control system. What is this thing about blockchain and why is blockchain being so, so popular? One, because it has no, nobody can control it. For example, who owns Bitcoin? As long as you own a bit of Bitcoin, you're, the, you're one of the owners, but nobody can say, I own Bitcoin. The best place to, to save your money is save it on cryptocurrency. Projects where you can save money. You can, the minimum uh, deposit you can get returns on, on any crypto is 5% per annum. There are cryptos that are giving you up to 13, 14, even 20% return on investment. Crazy amounts. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're reaching us from. This is Anthony Jiroge Jenga from Business Debut. And today we are back to crypto. We are talking about cryptocurrency. Let me just give you some news, some latest news. Right now, uh, cryptocurrency is trading the total crypto, cryptocurrency space is valued at $2.57 trillion. And of course, the question is, how much does Africa have? Uh, that's what it's trading. That's, that's a num total uh, market cap for cryptocurrency. Now, the, the currencies that are trading, uh, that, are, that are currently uh, 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 trending are, are, are uh, crypto like Hamster, Reward Bunny, Spooky Shiba. Those are just currencies that are from out there. Now, we wonder then, uh, if, if, if crypto we are trading at $2.5 trillion, how much of that is coming to Africa? Remember, uh, our focus is Africa, not the world, but Africa. Africa. How much is that coming to Africa? Very little. But now, um, today I just want to educate you on uh, what, are the, what are the cryptocurrencies that are, that are very popular uh, globally, at least the ones that we know that are popular globally. One, of course, is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the most popular currently, of course, because uh, it's the grandmother of all the cryptos globally. And it was started in 2019, of course, and now it's trading at $57,000. Uh, that's in Kenya shillings, probably six million or something like that. Uh, we have another currency that's Ether. Ether is trading at four thousand two hundred dollars. I think about a, a month ago it was going for about five, about seven thousand, four thousand seven hundred dollars. Now, what does what is a? Uh, 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 I discuss what you can use Bitcoin for. The other one is Binance, which is trading at five hundred seventy-six dollars. Uh, there is uh, Tether, which is a it's called a stable coin. It's trading at a, do, a dollar. Uh, the Sol 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 Solano, which is now the newest uh, thing in the market, is an N NFT, which is trading at two hundred and fifteen dollars, two hundred and twelve dollars. And can you imagine the total the total uh, trading for, for total total market cap for Solano is sixty four million, sixty four billion dollars? Can you imagine NFT that started a few months ago? And there, of course, there are other currencies like Cardano, who's just trading at sixty one. Uh, billion that's a market cap by trading at 1.8 shillings to dollars so the thing is um the market is very vibrant uh, cryptocurrency is growing and one of the reasons why cryptocurrency is growing is because remember uh, we are moving from uh, a government control system people are moving away from uh, a dollar control system to a democratic control system what is this thing about blockchain and why is blockchain being so so popular one because it has no nobody can control it. For example, who owns Bitcoin? As long as you own a bit of Bitcoin, you're, the, you're one of the owners. But nobody can say I own Bitcoin. So as we're saying, Ethereum is a community-based project. That means anytime you want to make a decision, it's not dependent on the the founder. People vote, and then there are very many uh, uh, coins that are founded under Ethereum. Ethereum. We say Ethereum is a utility coin. So for example, if you want to start a coin, like now, for example, if I wanted to start a coin called Antonin Jenga. I will develop a coin on Ethereum platform and it will be, be on Ethereum platform and it can be traded on Ethereum platform. The other coins that are popular is, like I say, Binance. Binance, of course, is, uh, is, is also a very popular coin. Right now it's trading at 570. The only difference between Ethereum is that there's somebody who we can say is the owner of Binance. However, even him, he did, works with the community. Then we have something like called Tether, the most popular coins. Tether. Tether is a coin that is it's called a stable coin. What do you mean a stable coin? A stable coin is a coin that is backed by reserves, like dollar reserves. For every one, one stable coin, there's a dollar reserve. So that means there's no fluctuation of the, of the, of the stable coins. And anytime we find that there's a fluctuation of other currencies, uh, people run to, 
to 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 bank their their money on 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 uh, on uh, tether the other coin that is very popular and uh, as i was saying is solano solano is now right now trading at 64 billion it's a coin that started a few min few months ago and it's a coin that is i mean what the solano is doing is selling what is called nft non-fungible token now those tokens what happens is you take a photo of of a, of a Premier League, for example, take a photo of, of one of the stars, let's say like a, uh, like a who? Uh, Messi, taking a, uh, doing, uh, doing his run or, or doing whatever he's doing, you take that photo and then you take it on and you, you frame that photo, that becomes an original photo and that photo you can sell it on the NFT market and it gives a value. Now Premier League have given them permission to do that and they get they pay royalties to Premier League. And now that photo becomes you're the only one owner who has that photo. Nobody else will have a similar photo on Premier League because that photo you've already bought it at a lot of things are, so NFTs is it's happening also on the, uh, uh, what's called uh, and, and NBA basketball, where you find you have also players who you're taking photos of players and you sell those photos. So it's, cra it's, it's, cra it's a crazy, crazy, crazy world and it's growing. Uh, things like Cardano, Cardano is another currency that is also uh, uh, founded on the same thing like, like uh, Ethereum. It's a utility coin where you can uh, build a lot of programs on it. Now, wh why am I saying this? So how, what do you, how do you uh, plug in? as an investor. One of, that's one of the things that I was asked the other day, how do you plug in? You can use uh, crypto for one, one or two other things. Bitcoin, because it's the it's a oldest currency and, and uh, people believe in it, it's one of the biggest brands. Uh, people use it as for savings because you know there'll be 21 million Bitcoins and currently the Bitcoins that have already been uh, uh, mint about 18, 18, 18, billion, 18 million. So there's only a balance of about 21, uh, uh, 3 million. Now, when you get to 3 million, there won't be, be any more Bitcoin. That means the value of Bitcoin go up. Right now, it's at trading at $57,000. It might go up to 100000 or or even a million because the demand will be high and supply will be low. So that means the price of Bitcoin will go up. So it's used as a store of value. So most corporates are buying uh, an alternative instead of, of saving in dollars because of the currency. There's a devaluation of the dollar. You're saving on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is not going down. So you use Bitcoin as a store value. Ethereum is a utility coin. One, the Ethereum blockchain is a blockchain that a lot of developers are developing projects on it. A lot of them, if you look at the number of projects that have been developed on Ethereum, they are tons. And even like, for example, there are projects we are doing on, uh, on uh, supply and logistics. We are, we, are, we, are, we are developing it on Ethereum platform. So Ethereum is a utility coin. So what can you use it for? One, you can use for developing your project. Because you need to pay gas fee, you need to pay developers, so you use it for for development, and you can also use it for store value, but mainly it's for our development. And uh, Ethereum is a, one of the most popular coins uh, globally because uh, there's a lot of innovations happening in it. There's a huge community backing it. There are very many uh, DeFi projects, uh, decentralized finance projects that have been built on Ethereum. So you can use it as a utility coin. Now you can buy and sell Ethereum. That's okay in the in the crypto in the crypto space. Now, the other thing you could use crypto for is savings. You can save your, your crypto and get an interest. I, I tell you right now, if you, like for example, you are saving money in the bank, if you are saving 200 shillings in a bank, you will not get interest. But if you save on a crypto space, in other, there are very many uh, projects where you can save money. You can, the minimum uh, deposit you can get returns on, on any crypto is 5% per annum. There are crypto that are giving you up to 13, 14, even 20 percent return on investment. Crazy amounts yeah, because what they're doing, they're trading that money in the, on the, the crypto space. So the best place to, to save your money is save it on cryptocurrency. The other thing you can do with cryptocurrency is one, you can also, um, you can also, uh, what is called, uh, you can back and there's something called pool, pool. You put the money in a pool and that money is used to trade and you get a return on investment. For example, uh, uh, the guys who have an insurance, an insurance uh, policy, uh, product project on, on, on the cryptocurrency, what happens is when you put the money on the, on the currency, if you put it on the pool, the premiums that are going to be paid, you are going to be shared the premium. And, but if there's a loss, then again, you also share the loss. So um, it's, it, it, it's interesting. So you can do that. You can pay using cryptocurrency 
websites, subscriptions, like now there are books that you can buy online using cryptocurrency. You can, you can, like I, there are some people we pay, actually we pay uh, for subscriptions using cryptocurrency. Like now if I'm paying somebody in India, instead of going through PayPal, where it's gonna cost me like crazy. If I could pay through PayPal, they'll ask you for a tracking number, blah, 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 and all that. In crypto, that's not, that, that doesn't happen. You simply send the money to the other person and it receives the cash. Now, what makes crypto the most interesting? If you go to the bank, if you go to the bank, you will be asked for your name, account number, and all that. What will happen? You'll open an account. But you, when you leave that money there, you leave that money with the bank. If the bank closes, like the way we know Chase Bank closes, it closes with your money. Now, in cryptocurrency, it's very different. You open a wallet, like now, for example, if you have, a, in Ethereum, you have Ethereum, uh, coin, you you open a MetaMask wallet. When you open that wallet, that wallet will have your coins there. Those coins are yours. They are not. They don't belong to anybody. So even if you go to London, you can access those coins. You don't. They are not under Ethereum. No, they are your coins. So the person who is in control is you. So that's why you're saying you're moving from a control system to a decentralized system because that money belongs to you, and nobody can touch it. The only thing you have to make sure is that it has. You have remember your your password and your secret key. So that what makes it so interesting. So you can't, you, 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 nobody can rob you. So we are moving from government control. So if the dollar even fluctuates and goes wherever it's going, uh, where it's going or care shilling goes down and all, it does not affect your money. The only thing that can affect your system is if, there's a, if the internet collapses. And if the internet collapses, then the, the whole world will collapse. All right? So that was, that's what makes this interesting. You can pay, you can pay. There are some uh, sites where you pay using uh, uh, cryptocurrency and stuff. Now, last but not least, uh, you can have an account which is called a peer-to-peer -peer account. And that any payment you make, you make from one peer to another. You don't have to go through an intermediary. Currently, if you're paying, I mean, for example, you're paying somebody, you have to pay, pay the money to the bank and the bank pays that person. Now, you don't have to do that. You pay directly, like what you do with M-Pesa. Whether it's here to US, you just pay. It takes 30 seconds for the money to get the other person's account, and that's it. There's nobody who will control your money. You, nobody come, will come and tell you, oh, uh, we, you don't have your ID, so we'll close your account. Or if the government says uh, they don't want this issue, somebody close your account. There's nothing like that. Uh, uh, cryptocurrency is very independent and very democratic. So if there's a place you need to be able to invest your money, invest your money in crypto space. And next time we'll be talking about what is NFT, what is Ethereum, what is Binance, how does it work and how does it help you. But the best place to play is in the crypto space. Remember, we are saying right now it's playing at $2.5 trillion. Yeah. How much is that going to Africa? Let's be able to develop. Now, if you're a developer, this is the best place to develop your projects because you'll also get support. Even in cryptocurrency, there are also grants and that we'll discuss later in our program. Once again, my name is Anthony Jeroge Jenga, and this is Business Debut. Our purpose is to be able to help you grow your business, make a lot of money, and have a positive impact in the community. Thank you, and God bless.